There's two types of fresh water systems on your RV. One is the portable water system and the other is the city water hookup. The portable water system is just that. You take water with you in a holding tank and the water is delivered to you by being pumped through the lines. The pump might look like this one. It draws water from the tank and it has a switch in it that shuts down the pump when it reaches the set pressure, usually about 40 PSI. It's designed to give steady, continuous flow. Also, we think it's one of the best tools to use in detecting water leaks. Water leaks can be devastating to an RV if not found and repaired quickly. Every now and then, we turn our pump on and sit and listen. The pump will pressure up, and if everything is okay, then it will be silent. If there's a problem, it will kick in and out, and how often it does will depend on how serious the leak is. So if you're camping and the pump is kicking in and out for no reason, you have a problem and need to have things checked out. This only works if you're not hooked up to city water. When you are, in most cases the city pressure is greater than the preset pump pressure and the pump will not run. You should drain your tanks when you're done camping. And if you go to your favorite RV parts store, they'll show you different types of additives you can use to keep the tanks clean and fresh. The city water system is really quite simple. Make sure you have a non-toxic hose and we always use a regulator. Some RV parks have incredible pressure and can damage the lines in your unit. We like to put the regulator on the tap. That keeps it out of the way so no one can run into it and cause us a bunch of problems. Hook up the hose to the regulator and run a little water out of it to clean it out. Bugs and dirt can clog that strainer. Make sure the strainer is clean and attach the hose to the unit. Turn it on and check for leaks. You don't need the pump when the city water is hooked up. You want to use the park water, not the water in the freshwater holding tank. If you have the type of system that allows you to fill your freshwater holding tank from the city water fill, that's wonderful. But you have to be careful. You must use them properly. And, of course, Tim has a story about that. <laughs> One afternoon, a lady calls me up and she says she's having problems with her slide. When I got out there and I walked into her trailer, I had that feeling that something just wasn't quite right. You know that feeling? I spent about an hour looking it over and finally I figured it out. I don't know if it was a design flaw or someone from the factory just never really thought it through, but what happened was she hooked up her city water hose and turned it on thinking she was going to get water. But she had the valve set on city water fill. Most tanks have an overflow or an overfill spout on them designed to spill the water onto the ground when they're full. This one had about a quarter inch hose to do that. The park she was at had awesome pressure and volume. It filled the tank so full, it blew up like a balloon, lifted her floor, and bent the rails on her slide. When you hook up and turn on the water, listen. If the water's running and you don't know why, find out. The moral of this story? Get to know how things work on your coach. This is good advice on any topic. 